Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become certified software professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. Now we're going to show another function of the extruded bus base. So let's go to the extruded bus base and now let's choose this circle like this. And now we can see that here we have extrusion of 10 millimeters as we saw before. And here we have standard extrusion. But down here we have a thin feature and we can check this. If we check this, then we're going to got this ring. And this ring will have thickness of 10 millimeters. We can also increase the thickness like this. And here we can choose the type of the extrusion. We have one direction now. We can go mid plane. And now we can see that the circle is in the middle. And we can go to two directions like this. And now we can, for one direction, specify one thickness. And for other direction, other thickness like this or we can increase this thickness. So we got this ring. So this also possibility that we have thin feature that you can use in SOLIDWORKS. Let's check this and let's click OK. Now let's go to the features, extrude boss base again, and now let's choose this sketch here. And now you can see that the boss extrude automatically recognizes that this sketch is opened and it can be only used as a thin feature not as a normal extrusion, because that's not possible. If we uncheck the in feature, there's nothing. There is no extrusion. It's not possible. If we click OK, we got an error. It's not possible. So if we have an open sketch, we can only use that as a thin feature, like this. We can go, for example, mid plane. We can increase the thickness. And we can click OK. And now this is the result. If you're tired of watching on YouTube videos and buying cheap courses who always leave you wishing and wanting for more, and you want to have personal support to learn the SOLIDWORKS from the absolute zero to the professional level to improve and start your career, check the link below and visit our Super SOLIDWORKS Accelerator Academy. As well, if you like this video, click like and subscribe.